Hi friends, I am Asmitha. Welcome to my channel. Julie Peters was born in 1951, the eldest of nine children in a Catholic family so devout she had been designated as the child to become a priest. Julie felt she was female from an early age and couldn't understand why she was being brought up as a boy. Julie was assigned male at birth and brought up as a boy but from early in her childhood, felt intensely she was female, and was confounded and infuriated that no one else could see it. When Julie Peters started working at the ABC in 1971, television was just 15 years old. It was still a novelty and it was still black and white. Julie Peters was the first person to transition at the Australian Broadcasting Corporation, at a time when there were no role models around her, and the first openly trans person to run for parliament. For years, Julie led a highly stressful life, presenting as a man at work and a woman in her private life. Julie gave the ABC two weeks notice, during which time she told managers and work colleagues that at the start of next fortnightly, roster cycle she'd be presenting as a woman named Julie. It was a stunning announcement. She was the first employee to openly transition, and the ABC had no policies or procedures in place to support her. Ross Watson was head of TV operations in Victoria, ex-Navy, and he was amazingly positive and very supportive, she says. So, at the start of the next roster cycle, Julie Peters walked through the door as a woman. Medals awarded to Julie Peters for 25 years and 50 years of service to the ABC. Proud to have worked at the ABC for half a century, Julie is one of the organization's longest serving employees. At age 70, she's contemplating retirement but not bowing out of the spotlight, keen to turn her thesis into an autobiography or even a cabaret show. From her early 20s, Julie started collecting anything trans or queer related. Whenever she saw a magazine or newspaper article, medical records or images related to the trans or queer experience, she cut it out and filed it away. Julie's home is crammed with filing cabinets filled with precious material. She also archived her personal portraits, 4,000 selfies where she experimented with looks and fashions. Compiled over 50 years, Julie's meticulously organized collection is one of the most comprehensive archives of transgender history in Australia. Thank you.